Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. And today, we are going to be taking on the new Wicked Bloodline category stage of Super Battle Road on Global. Now, just like the last two videos we did, this one should also be pretty chill. Because the guy you see on the screen is basically going to destroy everything. You know, like it's not even going to be a fair fight. Honestly, I kind of feel bad for the Saiyan race right now. So anyways, here's the team we're going to bring. We got the double... STR coolers as leaders, and then tech, um, EZA Golden Frieza, AGL Metal Cooler, uh, EZA Int Final Form Frieza, Fizz Final Form Cooler, and finally the EZA Second Form Frieza. And without further ado, let's jump in here and get it started. Now, unlike the other stages, this one I don't think matters as much in terms of rotations because everybody kind of links really well with each other. But I do want to keep the STR Cooler and the second form Frieza together because of course this guy lowers attack and defense and this guy gets an extra boost from I think enemies having lower defense. Let's see. Just to confirm, yes, he gets extra attack when enemies are defense down. So we are good to go there and uh, why don't we why don't we pop an item just to be on the safe side. I mean Cooler as awesome as he is, his defense is not amazing so now we're gonna go for uh okay so i made this mistake before we're gonna go for vegeta first king vegeta that is because i killed bardock first in the past and i realized that if you do that then this guy does not get his damage reduction because you got to be facing a goku's family enemy so we're gonna kill king vegeta first and then we will worry about bardock actually it would have made sense anyways right because we have two physical units so we'd be you know more effective against king vegeta on this turn either way okay here we go so king vegeta should be dead after these two attacks land or three attacks rather oh okay we did a lot less damage than i thought we would damn all right uh we're getting supered um oh 118 i can live with that I can live with that. We got a nice crit there too. And this should do it. We might get an additional super too. Uh oh. Oh, it's not dead, but oh, he's still alive. Wow. Okay, okay. Does he actually have HP? That's my question. That is a real question. Does this man actually have any HP left? Because I cannot see it. Okay, like that that like it's it's, it's literally non-existent. He literally has 0.1 HP left. Alright, whatever. We got the transformation. Um, this should kill him. And we will have three turns of invincibility. Man, it's been a long time. At least like before I did this stage but last time, right? Um, it's been a long time since I've seen this transformation. I don't really use AGL Metal Cooler a lot. So it's really cool, man, to see like these more rare transformations. Um, cause yeah, like it's, they're really dope, right? Like they look awesome. Animations are great. It's just a shame that like these units don't get a lot of run. Okay. So here's the second turn and we might actually, you know, if we get lucky with the crits and everything, we might be able to take out Bardock before we have to, you know, transform back. But look at that animation, man. It's so dope. It's so dope. Yo, I truly believe that AGL Metal Cooler kind of ushered in the new era of animations in this game. You know, because before AGL Metal Cooler, all the animations for Dokkan Fist units were just kind of like okay, right? They were like fine, they're better than the free-to-play units, but nothing too special. But when AGL... Oh, was that three turns? I like two turns. I, sw I swear he transformed for three turns though. Um, no, it's not growth. Well, I guess I can't see it here in the details. Okay, well, anyways, I thought it was three turns. Maybe it was two. Or maybe it's because I was talking and I lost track of how many turns we had. Um, well, anyways, it doesn't matter. It's over. Let's, uh, I I'm not going to use an item because I know we got that crazy damage reduction, so it's going to be fine. And, uh, let's move on. Anyways, like I was saying, AGL Metal Cooler was the first unit where we were like, oh my god, 
or at least, at least like first non LR unit, I would say, where we're like, man, they they really went all out with this animation. And since then, I think we've been on a steady trend of like better and better and better animations in this game, right? And now we're at a point where like the new animations literally look better than the original source material, in my opinion, once again, right? Like, I, I think a lot of these animations look better than the original movies, look better than the actual anime. And it's awesome, like I love that, but I think it was really AGL Metal Cooler who got all this stuff started. So even though I don't use him a lot, I definitely um, you know appreciate him a ton for that. Okay, uh, let's see what we should do here. Let's go for, well we wanna keep Goku and Raditz alive, right? For the damage reduction. Um, let's go for, I guess Vegeta. I think that's fine. Mm, you know what though? Fizz. Oh no, I was gonna say this guy has type disadvantage, but he does attack all anyways, so it's not a huge deal. So let's just go for yeah, Vegeta. As you can see, man, full full supers are ready, so we don't really have to worry about like who links with who. This whole team basically just links very well with each other, and the tanking is is pretty solid. Yeah, I was a little bit worried about Cooler specifically, but with the double supports. And also the item, there's really not much to worry about. A super might do A69, nice. Uh, a super might do like 100k or something like that, but still not a huge deal overall. All right, okay, so no crits. That's fine, that's fine. I still took a good chunk of HP for everybody though. A good chunk of HP, like we should be able to probably pick off at least two of them next turn. At least two of them. Yeah, no, Vegeta's definitely dead. Vegeta's definitely dead. And let me see how we can handle this. Um, okay, so here's the thing, right? I want to keep these two freezes together. So we have this like insanely, insanely tanky turn. But at the same time, I'm kind of worried about Cooler at the end. I really am. Because even if we take out Vegeta, there's still, still going to be Nappa. Um, so maybe I should do this instead. But what if Vegeta supers us? That's also going to be a problem. Ugh, okay. Let's pop a Nurse Gigi. <laughs> I really don't want to. I really don't want to have to do that. But, you know, like, it's just... It's better safe than sorry, man. Be better safe than sorry. All right. Um... Hmm, okay, we went for Nappa with the type of advantage, but let's actually try to go back to Vegeta here and take him out just to make things easier for... Yeah, there's the super. So I was... I was right. I was right. That was, that was definitely a great, great decision on my end there. That super, if I put Cooler there without the item, that would have... We would have died. No question, that would have killed us. Okay, so he has a sliver of HP left, even though Cooler has the type disadvantage. This is definitely going to end things off. Please just die. Come on. Ooh. Oh, he's dead. Okay. <laughs> I was like, man, I, I, I wasn't really sure, man. I wasn't really sure. Okay. Is Nappa? Nappa's still alive. What a douche. Okay, well, with the Nurse Chi Chi, they shouldn't hit too hard at 114. Yep, double super. I don't care. 87. <laughs> yeah, all right. Nice try, nice try. Okay, here's the question. Should we pop the active skill for either of these guys? I don't think I'm going to pop his active skill, but I will pop his active skill. Because it's always fun to see these, like, active skills you don't see a lot, right? So there we go. <laughs> Very nice. Boom. Nappa's dead. And, uh, ah, screw it. Screw it. No, I, just, I can't resist. I can't resist. Just in case we don't get to pop it for the next, um, the next run, the next, like, stage. I want to see it at least once in this video. So, here we go. Let's, let's destroy some Saiyans. Let's destroy, this, this guy, this man was literally created to just exterminate Saiyans in this game. Like that, that is literally is his only job. And he is, I would argue, the best in the game at it. Like there's nobody in this game that is better at killing Saiyans. 
and and cooler right here. Okay, here we go. Uh oh, hold on. You know, I just realized I might not kill Goku this turn. If I don't, oh never mind. <laughs> <laughs> nah, 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 it's, it's good, it's good. I, I got worried for a second because I was like, if I don't get to kill Goku, then Uller at the end might be in trouble, but, um, yeah. Nah, Saiyan, the Saiyans are, the Saiyans are in some trouble, man. They're in some trouble. When Cooler's around, better hide your Saiyans. <laughs> no, that that's what I should call this video, eh? Hide your Saiyans. No. I, I don't know if people would get that reference at this point. It's kind of an older meme, right? The hide your kids, hide your wife thing, but... Something like... I'll think about it. I'll, I'll uh, take some time and, and come up with a good title. Yeah, watch it just end up being something lame. It's probably gonna be something lame. If you guys are watching this video, you already know what the title is, but... I'll think about it. Okay. So, now, let's pop an Icarus once again. Um, and then let's leave, yeah, we're gonna definitely leave the Goku for the end, so this guy still has his damage reduction. Um, I'm actually going to put, uh, hmm, let me think, actually. I think I'm gonna play it like this. Yeah, only three attacks in the middle. Cooler's definitely the least tanky one, so I think that's a good call, and then... You know what, we can, we, can, we can attack Goku right now, I just don't want to kill him yet. Okay, so let's go for Vegeta here. And then we will go for Trunks. So everybody gets some action. Everybody takes a hit. We don't play favorites, we attack everybody. Okay. A nice 2.3 million from Tech Golden Frieza. And uh, wow, we did like a third of his HP actually. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, guys, as I said, pretty chill run. Um, not really any moment in this run where I was like, man, I'm going to die. Like, there wasn't a single moment where I was, like, worried that we would potentially, you know, take, like, a KO shot or anything like that. And, I mean, what, what can you expect? Like, these guys, like, this team, this squad was literally assembled to destroy all the Saiyans. And uh, they're, they're doing their thing. They're doing their thing. All right, so, hmm, do I want to leave the second form Frieza in the middle? Or do I want to put this guy there instead? The second form Frieza, hmm, I mean, he does have, like, decent defense, but he doesn't raise defense on his super. Um, I don't feel like his defense is going to be that, like, quite good enough. Uh, we do have the Icarus active, so it probably should be fine either way. Why don't we go like this? Mm, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll, put, I'll put Fizz Cooler here instead, and then let's go for Trunks, obviously. <laughs> yeah, let's go with Trunks here. I'll go for Vegeta. And then let's give one Fizz Orb to second form. Okay, 70, 68. 67. Yeah, I don't know why I get so worried in this videos, man. Like, <laughs> I know it's gonna be fine. I still get worried. It's actually a problem of mine. I need a. That's why I lose races, eh? That's why I do so bad in races, because I'm always so cautious. I'm always so nervous about, like, yo, what if I die if I use an item? Or, like, I gotta use this unit to tank and I have to bring more defensive units. And, like, I think sometimes I overestimate just how hard a super bad road can be. And that's why you lose, man. Like, oh, against Sunblade, I totally should have beat that guy. I totally should have beat, like, a respect, man. I, I love Sunblade. He's a great guy. And, like, he's obviously a master at races. Like, he's a speedrunner. Like, that's literally what he does, right? And, um, with that said, I shouldn't have lost. <laughs> I shouldn't have lost. Because I had a way better team than him. Okay, I had, like, more potential. I, I was able to, like, tell him to, like, you know, take off a certain unit. Like for that race, they were trying to balance JP and Global a little bit. So I eliminated LR Gogeta from his team. And he still won because he just went more offensive. He went with more damage dealers. I went with a, more of a balance, I guess, of like damage dealers 
and um, you know, uh, what do you call it? Uh, of damage dealers and also tanks, right? So that's, in, at the end of the day, that's what led to my demise. I know it is. Okay, so I could use an item here, but I'm not going to because I know Cooler's just gonna finish the job. It's gonna be a wash. Here we go. I'm gonna go for um, Goku first. Even with the type disadvantage, it doesn't really matter because he crits guaranteed. So that's one. There's an the additional. And Goku is gonna die here. No, he didn't die. Okay. Alright, yo, yo, he's resilient, man. Yo, this is canon. <laughs> this is canon. Here we go. Um, actually, no, I think in this sequence in the movie, Goku was in base form, right? I believe it was base form Goku, but still. Nonetheless, it's canon. And there we go. We finish it off with the AGL Metal Cooler. Like I said, man, that animation was what started things off. That was what kicked things off. So, there you go. Oh, maybe I should call this video Hide Your Saiyans, Hide Your Hybrids. No, that doesn't sound very good. We need some work on that. I'll probably spend the next like five hours coming up with this title. But you don't, you guys don't have to worry about it. Okay, you just enjoy the video. There you go, new time. I don't even know what it was, but it was probably wasn't very good. Either way, <laughs> That's it guys, three down, seven to go, Wicked Bloodline out of the way, representatives of Universe 7 out of the way, and also um, crossover. Maybe let me know in the comments down below which cat, which one you guys want to see next, whether it's uh, you know Universe 7 or sorry, Universe 6, um, Vegeta's family, Goku's family, what are the other ones, I forgot, uh, movie heroes, um, so on and so forth, my memory is not, it's not you know it's not there today but either way guys that is going to be today's video thank you so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed it and as always if you liked the video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and uh, you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and uh while you're at it <laughs> Something's wrong with me right now. I don't know what's up. I need more tea. I need more tea. That's, I'm probably still like half asleep. Um, oh, hit that notification bell too. So that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.